in an attempt to shed its foreign brand in the U.S. Air Force trainer replacement competition, Saab will establish manufacturing and production in the United States for its Boeing Saab Texas Advanced Trainer Aircraft. Last week, Boeing announced Triumph Aerospace Structures will supply the wing and tail structures for its Texas trainer and revealed Saab would supply the aft fuselage, as the company did for its first two production-ready Texas aircraft. During a dramatic announcement at the annual Air, Space, and Cyber Conference this week outside Washington, D.C., Boeing CEO Leanne Carrot and Saab Group Haken Busk told an audience Saab would establish a production capability in the U.S. should the USAF select their bid. Along with Triumph and General Electric, more than 90 percent of Boeing's Texas would be made in the U.S., Carrot says. Saab is pursuing three options in the U.S., including establishing a new manufacturing facility, working with an existing American subsupplier to develop a dedicated production facility or acquiring that subsupplier, Busk says. Saab could also acquire an existing manufacturing facility, he says. Carrot would not address whether discussions with President Donald Trump, who has touted an America first manufacturing strategy, affected the decision to move Saab's production to the U.S. The move marks a longer trend for Saab, which has increased in U.S. presence, Busk says. A widening gap between the U.S. dollar and Swedish crown also pushed the business decision, he adds. Previously, Boeing has alluded to international opportunities for the Texas as well. Carrot would not address whether Texas would be manufactured in the U.S. if the USAF does not select the aircraft, adding the company would evaluate production on a customer-by-customer -customer basis as it approaches procurement opportunities. We believe there is a global application and we'll continue to pursue that, Carrot says.